In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how do you secure your equipment? How do you keep it safe? How do you make sure nobody steals it? How do you make sure nobody breaks it? I get this question a lot and I'm gonna tell you guys basically how I run my business and how I do it and I never have this problem. 99.9 .9 times out of 100, there's no problem. I'm not worried about my equipment getting stolen or anything like that. And if that's you, I'm gonna solve that issue for you. So if you're thinking of starting a equipment rental business or you just started and you're worried about this, don't be, here are the steps that you need to take to make sure that doesn't happen. Whenever you start a business renting equipment or anything like that, or if you just started, the first thing that you wanna have is obviously a website, how else you're gonna get customers, you're getting calls, you're getting emails, advertise your business, get on Google My Business, get on Yelp. The next thing is you have to have a rental agreement, okay? And that's kind of like a contract where you send it to a potential client whenever somebody inquires they wanna rent equipment from you. You have to send them a rental agreement slash contract. Ideally, what you wanna put down there is just how to use the equipment, what are their responsibilities, your responsibilities, how you're providing the equipment, some liability, legal language. Now, I can't give you advice on that. Maybe you wanna consult with a lawyer. Any kind of fees that you might have, hey, if this gets damaged or you know, if I'm delivering and I have to wait for you or if it's a late pickup, right? Maybe they wanna keep it an extra day. You wanna have all that in there. But, you know, sometimes you learn that as you go, so you don't have to worry about that from the start. Just try to think and anticipate of things that can come up, but over time you'll learn and you'll add that to your rental agreement. Get some templates uh, from online to get a nice rental agreement. Make sure you have that. Have every potential client sign it. They could put their billing address on it and they could sign it and send it back to you. The next thing, is you confirm all the details, right? You have a delivery time, delivery date, location, address. The next thing is send them a payment request. You want them to pay upfront. There's no reason for them to pay you after. Now there might be some rentals, some equipment that they that might happen, but generally no, you wanna take payment upfront, especially if you're not sure about the customer, if it's a first time, Take payment up front, that's normal. That's normal protocol. That's what you should be doing. And you should be doing a deposit, just a deposit like a just in case uh, liability deposit on top of your rental rate that you charge up front. Just in case something happens, you have that extra money to cover any damage um, expenses. These things usually come with rental software that you can research yourself, you can look into. It, lets you do quotes and invoices and contracts and um, payments, deposits, all that kind of stuff. If you're not at that point, if you're using something like Square or Stripe or you know another payment processing service, you may not have those options, but once you get more serious, you can definitely invest in a rental software that will give you those options, but you can at least charge right away. Charge right away. Then when you are, let's say, dropping off the equipment or let's say you have the customer come to you to pick it up, explain to them how to use it, explain to them their responsibilities, take pictures of the equipment and you can ask them to take a picture of their ID. Just to say, hey, I'm just dropping this off with a person. Just you acknowledge that you picked it up, that you got the equipment, that I gave it to you. Turn on the equipment, make sure it's working. And once you actually take a picture or a video of the equipment and take a picture of their ID, in their mind, they're like, okay, this is serious. I gotta take care of this stuff. I gotta take care of this equipment. I'm not gonna fool around, I'm responsible. That's pretty much it. That's really all you have to do to make sure your equipment is gonna be treated right. It's gonna come back the same way you sent it out and there's not gonna be any issues. And the, one of the most important things is don't be afraid to screen your customers. You don't have to rent to everybody, okay? You can say no. If you feel like it's not right, there's something off and you're not comfortable with this rental, you're not sure about, you know, the person they sound maybe shady, like it happens, you know what I mean? Don't do it. 
say that you're booked on that day, you are out of equipment, or you don't service that area, make an excuse. I'm sorry, but that's what you have to do to protect yourself. So that's how you protect your equipment. That's how you can start a successful uh, equipment rental business and not worry about your equipment. And 99.9 .9 times out of um, 100, you will not have any problems if you follow these steps. So I hope you guys enjoy this information. Check out some of my other videos. I talk about equipment rentals and also other stuff that you might find interesting. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.